Good afternoon and welcome to Jen's Awesome Tutorial. We are going to learn today how to resize a picture using completely free software because Windows doesn't apparently have anything that's capable of doing that. I'm, I'm still astounded by this. It's been years, literally 20 years of me giving this exact same tutorial because Windows can't seem to get their business together. Anyway, so how to resize a photo. I've got this photo here that I made. Let's pretend that I'm going to put it up in the uplift. I've made maybe a cafe and I want to pave a wall with this picture. It's not the classiest. Who cares? It's a picture I can resize. So first step, go to the internet. Uh, what program am I looking for? Mm. This one's called paint.net and I think it's spelled funny. So I'm going to search it in here. I think it has two A's. Uh, yeah, I think it is. No, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. Okay, try this. Paint.net. Yep. It is a bit of a potato. It's better than Paint 3D. No, oh, it's clearly not this one. Better than Paint 3D, lesser than... Oh. Well, that's the website. Lesser than Photoshop. There we go. Okay, so getpaint.net is the website you want to go to. Now I know. It looks like this. It looks like they haven't updated it since like 1997. So if you were expecting something fancy looking, it's not. It's free. And I know for a graphic manipulation program, they should be able to come up with whatever. I'm not a rant. So I want to get it now. There's a download and bing. Oh, there's another window with a whole bunch of words. I just want to download the thing. Windows 10. Sure, that sounds good. Um, but I want the free one. I don't want to have to pay for this. I don't want to have to pay for anything. So free paid. Free. So dot PDN, no idea. Dot PDN LLC develops and distributes high quality software for Windows PCs. Our current projects include paint.net. Okay. Um, but that was supposed to have downloaded it, right? Like, okay. So this was so much easier the first time. Oh, because I, I clicked on the information instead of the button, apparently. They need a better website. Okay. Free download now. Okay. Let's see if that works. Oh, it did. Look at that. It's down there. It's in a zip file. So pop that open and da, 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 da. it's in my downloads. I want to um, unzip it. How do I unzip? Extract all. Great. Whatever it suggests. Great. Let's do it. There it is. So then I'm going to double click on that thinger and it will install it. Do I want to allow it to make changes to my device? Yes. Uh, do, 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 yes. Do that thing. So you may be thinking to yourself, hey, but I can resize pictures in paint, paint 3D. You can, but it does a crappy job. Okay, but I can resize pictures in, in Windows Photo Viewer. You can, but again, it does a crappy job. I'm going to use the Express installation because I don't care. I'm going to agree to all of this. I assume I can't use it for nuclear weapons. Oh, and they've got a donate button. It's it's free, so if you like it, donate to them. I'm going to finish that and it will start. So. This is what it looks like. For anyone who is the least bit familiar with Photoshop, you'll have an easy time. If you have never used Photoshop, good luck to you. So I'm going to open a picture here, my picture, and I put it somewhere in a place. No, not that place. This other place here. Did I? Yeah, it's in here. I put my picture in here and called it something and made it hard to find. There we go. Jen's awesome chai. So this is my picture. Now, I want to make my picture fit on 
mm, I'm eight blocks by eight blocks because six by six seems a little small. Now let's do six by six. Okay, so I want a six by six square. And I know what you're thinking. Okay, so a six by six square of sea lanterns, that's nice. Don't worry, got some math for that. And it's not hard math. So I want to use six sea lanterns. The resolution per sea lantern is 128 pixels. So I'm going to multiply my six by 128 pixels, and it's going to give me 768. So if I want to use a six by six square of blocks to display my picture, it has to be a width of 768 pixels by a height of 768 pixels. Don't worry if you don't know what a pixel is, it doesn't matter, it really doesn't. We could call them grundles and it would mean the same thing for our purposes. So I'm gonna go to image up here and resize. So I believe that number was 768. If you're not me, write it down because really that just makes sense. So the first thing I'm gonna do actually is look at this pixels per inch resolution. It says it's only 72. Now, if one C lantern has a resolution of 128 and I try to put 72 in there, uh, it's not gonna look so good. So the first thing I'm gonna do actually is change the resolution to 128 or even better, I'm gonna do 256. No, 56, there we go. Um, 128 times two is 256. I'm kind of doing it a little bit overboard because because it'll be better that way. So then I'm going over here. Now, before I resize this, I'm actually going to attempt to crop it to the, um, the size that I want. I want to make it a square. Now paint.net here, so first I'm going to say okay, has a really nifty feature. So I'm going to use my selection tool here, rectangle select, but I'm not going to select a rectangle. Oh, sneaky, what am I going to do? I'm going to come over here and go about there -ish. I've got a little line up at the top there, so I'm going to line that up down with, I can't even see my mouse down there. Okay, so I'm going to line that up with my edge. Now, uh, first order of business is to maybe make that smaller so that it can actually be like all the way seen there. That's better. Um, to do that, I just held down the control key and used the scroll wheel on my mouse at the same time. Um, so I'm going to select a square. Now, before I click, I'm going to hold down the, con I think it's the control key. Oh, it does. It says that click and drag to draw a rectangular selection, hold shift to constrain to a square. Okay, so I'm gonna make my shift key. Hold my shift key and click and make a square. Squarey square. Oh, that doesn't work. I cut some of it off. This is actually a decent feature. So I'm gonna click over here and try again. I'm gonna go lower this time. Uh, I want it to be a square. And so shift, click, drag it all the way up. Okay, so it looks like my poor happy owl mug there is going to get cut out, but whatever. For this purpose, fine. Don't care. So I'm going to let go of the clicker and the shifter, and it's selected. And it's got all those marching ants around it. And if you're easily distracted, you'll be watching the marching ants and the marching ants. And But you have a purpose. We're going to go over to image. And there's a very first thing here it says crop to selection. Yes, please. Ah, there we go. No more marching ants. So now I can go and really resize it. So I'll go back to my image menu. It's the only menu you need for this, really. And I'm going to resize my image. Now, I think my number was 768, but by now I've forgotten. So I'm going to find it again. Let's do that math. Never hurts to, you know, repeat things anyway. So it was 128 pixels by six C lanterns gives me 768. Cool. So uh, I want to make sure that I'm maintaining my aspect ratio. The reason I want to maintain my aspect ratio is because otherwise it will get distorted. So 
For example, if I maintain my aspect ratio, I'm going to change that number to 768 and hit enter, and it looks great, right? Yeah, OK. So for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to make this a little bigger. For demonstration purposes here, let, what happens if we don't? So let's say I don't have that maintain aspect ratio checked off, and I want to make this uh, mm, What's a multiple here? Uh, 640. Let's go 640. Oh, but only one of those numbers changed. My width changed. My height didn't. What do you think is going to happen to my picture? Yeah, it looks kind of squished. It's not the same. So there's this or that. I like this one better. So there you go. Maintain that aspect ratio. You can also do it by percent, but that doesn't allow you to get the accuracy of doing it by pixel. So now that I've got this, I'm going back to my image. No, not going to my image. I'm going to save this. I'm going to go to File and Save As. And because I like to you know, keep track of things, and my original picture was tacky, but I liked it. Jen's awesome. Chai, uh, add it. Now, if you're saving an image for use in the uplift, you got to get rid of a bunch of stuff here. No punctuation, no spaces, no brackets, no fun. There. So I've saved that. It's going to ask me about all of this junk. Uh, cool. It, it has some numbers in there. Just ignore it and say OK. Now I have a resized picture that will sit perfectly on my six by six square of sea lanterns. And it was that easy. So we'll do it one more time just to make sure that it's clear like mud here. Just gonna get rid of these so that there's no distractions. And what have I got here? Let's go back to my awesome memes and find something that I can squish. Uh, Mm, I don't know. There's so many good pictures in here. Well, let's use... I'm totally biased. They're mostly my photos. So let's see here. I can use... Uh, uh, this one. Whatever. We'll just use this one for example purposes. Oh, what do I want to open it with? Good. It's asking me because I forgot. Paint.net. I do have Photoshop but I know not everybody does. So that's part of why I'm doing this. So here's a picture. Now I want to do some things. I'm going to adjust the resolution. Oh, it's already 314 pixels per inch. Well, that doesn't divide nicely by 128. Jeez. All right, so I'm going to fix that. Um, da -da -do. So 128 times 2 is 256, but this is higher than that, so I should go slightly higher still. Um, 128 times 3 is 384. Let's do that for fun. So 3, 4, and I'm done with that. Now I'm going to crop it. Let's say I'm going to make a square. So I'm going to start here, hold down that shift key, and oh! Guess who forgot to select the right tool? Good thing for Control Z. So go over here, get my select tool, and hold down that shift key, and huh, there we go. Nice square. And image, crop, image, resize. Now I want to make that, it's, uh, I don't know, let's say I'm doing a three by three, because let's keep it easy here. So I'm going to maintain my aspect ratio, definitely. And my number was 384. Lucky me, I already did that for the resolution. Say OK. And I can scroll in and take a look. It's getting a bit grainy because it's actually a smaller picture. Fine. Who cares? Then I would save it. I'm not going to go through the save process because I don't really want to save over my, my photo. I kind of like it. Um, and then I would close it. I'm not going to save that. So as you can see, from all of these things. And I'm just going to pop this open again because I liked it so much. As you can see, resizing a picture is actually easy. Anybody can do it. There's free software. 
getpaint.net. It is not the only program. There's GIMP, which I had trouble using, so that's why I didn't do it for the tutorial. There are, there are other open source image programs you can use. A lot of them, an overwhelming majority, have a paywall for image resizing. I don't know why. It's dumb. It should be stopped. I just want to resize my frickin' picture. So enjoy the rest of your day. Resize those photos. And my expectations now are that when you order some Upliftium services and you're like, hey, will my rectangular photo fit on this square? You're going to resize that and send it to me first and not have to ask that question. And there's a handy infographic. Um, where did I put that? Oh, there's a handy infographic somewhere for that too. So let's take a look at that here. I saved it somewhere. Well, probably in my downloads. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. There. Okay. So there's a handy infographic on this and it says resolution, 128 pixels. We went over that. Will my rectangular image fit in this square? No. And I showed you with, with the unconstraining proportions why it doesn't work well, and Minecraft doesn't scale that way anyway. How do I know how many blocks to prepare? Do the math. There's, there's an example here so that it's easy. Anybody can take a look at it. What do you do if you have uneven numbers? What about QR codes? I'm going to post this all over the place. It will also be on um, my Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter, it'll be there. If you are in the telegram if you're in the uplift discord it'll be there it'll be in the shipple telegram anywhere where i know people who might possibly benefit from these things it'll be there so on that note i hope that you have a lovely lovely time and enjoy the rest of the day with your resized images see ya